Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Tech Tip discussing the differences between traditional belt-driven AC compressors and high-voltage compressors typically found on hybrid and battery electric vehicles, and how to troubleshoot common AC compressor problems. Now, in the past, a vehicle with AC would typically have a compressor mounted to the engine driven by a belt. When the AC is needed, the free-running pulley would simply be magnetically coupled to the compressor shaft via a clutch mechanism. With EVs, the compressor is typically driven by the same high voltage potential found in the traction battery, which is anywhere from 325 to 400 volts DC. In the future, we'll have another video that'll go further in depth into these electrical systems. Now, as I'm sure that you're aware, a proper charge along with the right amount and type of oil in a refrigeration system is key to long compressor life. And you should be aware that the biggest difference between belt-driven and EV compressors is that you cannot cross-contaminate oils between these two systems due to the high voltages. Now, when servicing an EV or hybrid system, you must be using a machine that meets the J2845 standards. And when it comes to troubleshooting a belt-driven clutch system, you typically just need to ensure that you're receiving the proper power to generate a magnetic field strong enough to engage the AC clutch. Remember that in most cases, the AC controls inside of the vehicle are only requesting AC operation. There are many conditions that need to be achieved for the system to enable AC operation. For example, if you have an extremely low charge, there may be a low pressure sensor or switch preventing the compressor from operating. And if the engine controller believes that the engine is overheating, it will likely inhibit AC operation as well. If you have one that's not engaging, the first thing that I like to do is access a, an accurate wiring diagram. From there, we can then see how the system might be able to be tested efficiently. Okay, when you're presented with a vehicle that the AC clutch isn't engaging, you certainly need to be aware that you are actually making a request to turn on the AC. And there are other systems involved that may be preventing the AC clutch from engaging, such as low pressure, uh, perhaps the ECM is seeing something that it doesn't like, like uh, coolant temperature or what have you, uh, above certain temperatures that will prevent the AC from coming on. But uh, you should always start with a full scan to make sure there isn't any inhibitors, okay? But now if you get to the point where, okay, I have no inhibitors, still not going, still not engaging, now I wanna check out my circuit electrically. And in the case where you typically will have a, com a compressor relay that is controlling the AC clutch. And the AC clutch is usually a magnetically coupled unit has a large field coil that gets engaged that creates a large magnetic field and it pulls the clutch uh, onto the, the idler pulley there and it engages. So in the case that you don't have engagement, uh, you'll always wanna come to the compressor if you can get to the compressor and you're gonna check to see if it's got a signal. Is it, is it getting power? Is it getting the proper power? Does it have the proper ground circuit? But in some cases, uh, the compressor is very difficult to get to, not accessible. So the other nice place to test and what I like to do is go right to the underhood power distribution block and look to see if there's an AC control relay. And we do have an AC control relay on this vehicle. And a tool that I like to use here is the U-Activate uh, from AES Wave. And what it lets us do is uh, we, we can pull the relay out of the circuit and we can plug this guy in its place and a couple things can happen here. Um, we're gonna go in and turn the key on after we've reviewed the wiring diagram to understand where our powers and grounds are. And there's a switch here on the side that lets us know that we actually have a circuit. We have power coming in to our relay and then we have a low, a complete circuit going through the AC clutch and going to ground. Now in this case, if we had an open circuit, and let me open that up here. As soon as I open that circuit up, you see that light goes out. So that tells us immediately whether or not we have an actual circuit, okay? 
Now, if you do find that situation where you have an open circuit, you're then gonna wanna check for power. If you have power here, then it's likely that you've got an open circuit somewhere here, either the ground wire or the coil. And then you're gonna need to get to the coil and check it. If you do find one that has an open in the coil, that's usually due to the fact that there's a thermal fuse inside of that AC coil. And that basically prevents the, the system from disintegrating. If there's excessive drag from say a compressor that's starting to go bad, it will create excessive heat and then that heat will actually open up that, uh, that fuse. So what I'm saying here is that if you do find that you have an open in the clutch, it's likely the compressor is actually what's at fault. So you're gonna have a major repair there. Now the other uh, end of the equation here is the control side, right? So you wanna know, hey, is the system actually turning on the air or not? Okay, so I'm gonna start the vehicle. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the AC on, okay? And you could actually hear the RPM actually went up just a little bit and our light turns on. So that tells us that the AC clutch is actually being commanded to turn on. And the fact that the RPM came up just a little bit tells me also that the ECM is seeing that input and engaging and ready for to, to, ready to handle that ex, uh, extra load there. And then the other nice thing about this tool, okay, we, we know we have our circuit. We go ahead and actually engage the AC compressor and see if it actually works. The other cool thing about this tool is that we do have an inductive loop. So if you wanted to check the compressor coil and see how much amperage is, is pulling, go ahead and turn this guy on. All right, we're on DC. And so we're gonna go ahead and just hook it around this loop here. And I'll try to hold it here so we can see it. And then we're gonna engage. So we're seeing we're pulling about 3.5 amps for that AC clutch. And then we turn it off and away we go. So that's a quick look at how to quickly uh, address a coil circuit on a vehicle. And it doesn't stop there as some of these belt driven compressors can also contain variable displacement controls which can effectively change the output of the AC compressor. There's a video I assembled that shows how you can diagnose the performance and test the variable displacement control valve, which we'll have linked in the video description. Now, I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.